Welcome to Investors Insights. The topic this week is give and take. Guys, volatility is back in the markets. Uh, we kind of had a double whammy last week as the S&P 500 traded back more than 3%. Uh, the double whammy started with the Fed. The Fed cuts rates as expected. As we talked about last week, we expected that. Uh, but Fed Chairman Powell did not give the market it was looking for in terms of future cuts. So the market traders started trading back on that news. And then uh, about 24 hours later, uh, President Trump announced an additional 10% tariffs on the remaining $300 billion worth of Chinese goods. And so kind of a double whammy here. And the problem is, it's the problem chain that continues to impact the economy. And that is trade matters for manufacturing, manufacturing matters for profits, and profits matter for future business spending. So we're starting to see that domino effect. Uh, but actually talk further about why China is important, but Mexico and Canada is looking even more, more so, important. Yeah, it's, I mean, if you look at it, when you hear it on the news, you think as much that goes on in China, they must be about half of our trade. They're not. They're only about 15% of it. So it's not a massive number. As a matter of fact, uh, Bobby's right. If you combine Mexico and Canada, it's 30%. Those two countries together double up China, frankly. So when you look at that, it, you do have this. Tariffs can be short-term. They can be long-term. But you have to keep in perspective, too. You know, our own neighbors are still double the size in terms of trade that China is. Yeah, and we'll continue to talk about this. Until September 1st, the, the trade deadline, it's going to be volatile, up and down, uh, based on what news is coming out. So something to follow there. And then, Adam, it's not all bad news, as we saw consumer spending and consumer confidence really uh, pick up last week. Right. Remember last week we talked about consumer. I mean, that's a backbone of our economy. We were looking last week to be that, to be the lift of the markets and the economy itself. Well, consumer confidence came out way stronger than expected at 135.7. Um, for those of you don't know that is the current economic conditions and the expectations for the next six months. So the consumer is really confident right now that this trend is going to continue. However, the U.S. trade war with China, we saw that take a big dip into the markets. Consumer spending, you know, for April through June was the best since 2017. So the consumer continues to be the strong point of the economy. We're getting what we need on that side, but the tariffs is taken away from that. And unemployment rate has been so low but now, you know, with the tariffs and everything going on, we might see a push into that too as well. Yeah, so it's give and take. It's great news yeah. on the consumer front, which is 70% of our economy, but also starting to hit this trade war back into, into the yeah. picture here, causing some volatility. But and this consumer data, when you get right down to it, it's had a good run for two straight years. Exactly. That's pretty historic, yeah. and it's still going. Yeah, yeah. So it's a bright spot. Uh, but actually, talk about an interesting thing in the healthcare yeah. sector. Yeah, the main thing is if you look at business, you know, we focus on some things like trade, but a major cost for all companies is health care, you know, unless they totally force the employees to carry it, which most don't. Uh, the Trump administration, one small item that could be a big item that for the future we wanted you to spot is that last week they announced impending regulations that coming as soon as this January, hospitals would have to publish their rates on a lot of their medical procedures. And they would have to publish their rates on the discounted side, even if somebody goes in for treatments that are insured. So beginning in January, if you don't get litigation from insurance companies and hospitals to stop it or delay it, you could get into January and there's, a, there's gonna be a lot more ability to cost compare between hospitals and provide. That type of effort always pressures costs down. Mm -hmm. And so we're watching that carefully for next year that we may get some health care relief if uh, that comes into effect. Yeah, yeah, and as we've seen too, you know, during the Democratic debates, that's been a big topic. Health care has been yes. a huge topic. So Good point. You know, for the administration to push that right now, that's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. So we're starting this week with the Chinese yuan hitting a decade low. So that's going to be the topic this week and how it's impacting the global trade. Mm -hmm. uh, but also August. August is historically a volatile month. In fact, the last six out of the eight August have been down. So mm -hmm. something we're watching carefully as always. As the volatility is coming back in the market, if you have questions, please call us and how it impacts your portfolio. We want to make sure you're sleeping right. Have a great week. Thanks for watching.